detailed instructions on the training and procedures of USA paratroopers for a static line jump from a C-17 aircraft. Pre-jump training. The U.S. Army's paratroopers undergo extensive training before executing a static line jump from an aircraft like the C-17 Globemaster III. The training involves several phases designed to ensure safety, confidence, and mission readiness. Paratroopers are introduced to their equipment, including the T-11 parachute system for the static line jump, reserved chute, harness, helmet, and protective gear. A detailed inspection of all gear is conducted to familiarize the jumpers with each component and its functionality. PLF, Parachute Landing Fall, Training. Paratroopers practice the parachute landing fall, a crucial technique to minimize injury upon landing. This involves rehearsing the five points of contact, balls of feet, calf, thigh, buttocks, and push-up muscle in a controlled environment. Mock Door Training. Paratroopers practice exiting a stationary or mock-up aircraft door to simulate the actual jump. They rehearse how to stand in the door, count the time to jump, and practice emergency procedures such as entanglements or malfunctioning equipment. In some training scenarios, a wind tunnel or fan trainer is used to simulate the feeling of air resistance during the freefall phase of the jump. This is typically for advanced jumpers, but may be introduced to help paratroopers understand the dynamics of the descent. Instructors teach paratroopers what to do in the event of a malfunction, including deploying the reserved chute, handling twists in the main chute lines, and preparing for hard landings or water landings. SAT is conducted within 24 hours of the scheduled jump to refresh and reinforce all the jump procedures learned during ground training. It includes a final review of exit techniques, parachute deployment, emergency actions, and landing techniques. Jumpmaster communicates with the flight crew to confirm the approach to the drop zone, DZ. A series of commands are given by the Jumpmaster in flight, beginning around 20 minutes from the drop. 20-minute warning. Jumpers are informed that they will jump soon. 10-minute warning. Jumpers prepare to stand and hook their static lines to the anchor cable running along the ceiling of the aircraft. Stand up and hook up. The jumpers stand face the rear of the plane and hook their static lines onto the anchor line.